Good morning, everyone. I hope you're already having a great day. Um, we are almost upon April, just a few days away. And this week is Good Friday at the end of the week. And on Friday, I normally do a live, um, but I'm going to actually move it to Thursday this week. So um, I'm going to be doing my 3D um, live um, on uh, Thursday, April 1st at 10 a.m. Eastern on my YouTube channel. Just so if you follow me regularly and you want to catch me live, just remember I'm moving this week's Friday live to Thursday just because I know some of you are either going to be away or you're going to be already um, uh, celebrating um, Easter or at church for Good Friday or whatever if you um, have the day off and uh, so I just wanted to move that date up a little bit but today's casing Tuesday and today's my card making day and I actually really love casing Tuesday because it is a great jumping off point you know we have this big catalog full of cards and samples and we can use those as blueprints so each week we choose one of those cards to focus on and then we all try and create a card around that um, card the layout today is kind of fabulous i really like this uh, layout okay so let me show you the card first here it is it's so cute it's on page 64 of the january to june mini catalog and there's actually three cards that follow a very similar layout but this one is just perfect it, it just has enough layers um, to be able to substitute and make something really fun i really like this original card but of course i wanted to do something a little different so here we took the layers of the card and we broke them down for you so if you are you know having trouble with the measurements if you're new this could be a great starting point for you um, what I would do is I would just take some computer paper and cut them to all these layers so you can kind of see them laid out on your desk and then you can use those layers to help you know plug and play substitute some of those layers out and just you know create a card around this I take this the base and I change it up just a little bit. I take it and I, um, my stamp set today is hot dog. I haven't used it yet. I love, love it. little animals, as you know, and I haven't had a chance to use it yet. Um, so my main layer, that little square, uh, got to be a little bit bigger than the one on the original uh, card, but that's okay. You can make some changes. And I already posted my card over on our Casing Tuesday Facebook group, which you are welcome to be a member of. All you have to do is ask to be a member if you're not already one. And uh, we'll, we'll add you to our group. And then you can uh, post your card. You can comment on other people's cards. You can look at all the cards. So um, today when I posted, there were already, I think, three or four cards up there. Um, that were based on the card in the catalog. So it's really fun. We've already got people posting, so that's kind of neat. And good morning to everyone who's joined me so far. I am going to stamp my card first, and then I will talk to you guys. If you want to leave me a comment or if there's anything um, that you um, want to uh, let me know, if you have a question, just please let me know. All right, let me... Make sure my camera's on and I'm going to switch over to my other camera. And so here is my card. I just think this is so adorable. What do you think? Um, I didn't color the dog. I just colored the accessories of the dog. And I think it kind of worked out really, really well. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. <laughs> this is uh, the end of my banner piece and I was measuring how big it was to start off with so I could tell you in my measurements. That's an extra piece. We don't need that. That's going to go in the garbage. There we go. There's my card. Um, so it's kind of fun. I really just plugged out or plugged in um, the little elements to my card and it's just so, so fun. All right. 
let me show you how I made it. Um, and I already talked about hot dog. This stamp sits in the Jan to June mini catalog. And I do know that it will be retiring in June. And I'll just give you a little caveat with cute animal stamp sets that aren't around for very long time. Like this one, it was only in one catalog. If you like dogs and you want the stamp set, please make sure that you get it now because later on it will be harder to to get it um stamp sets that have like images like this like cute cute animals and only one catalog they um, are really hard to find after the fact so if you like this one just you know know that you should probably get it now um june 2021 is when it's retiring okay so let's start off and we're going to create the focal point of our layer which is our little dog and this little square of basic white is two and five eighths inches by two and five eighths inches okay and we're going to use some stamps these are all the stamps that we need to start off with and i'm just going to use my memento ink pad and we'll start by stamping the dog because he's going to be the main image and he or she, we need to get the dog right. So I'm going to stamp the dog about half an inch from the bottom and maybe a quarter of an inch from the side. We want to give um, the dog a little room on the bottom because I want to butt up this layer right here, right underneath. And I want to bring it up just a little bit. So when I stamp the dog, I just want it to be you know, um, give myself enough room. Now for the balloon, and I'm just gonna take this, and this balloon is going to just touch the top of that tail, okay? So we're just gonna touch it just like that, right at the top. And then I'm going to take, there's a little tiny bow stamp, and I'm just gonna add that right at the intersection of the tail and um, the balloon. And then I'll take the hat, and this might take a little practice. I'm just gonna kind of bring it down until it touches like that. So it just kind of sits right on the top. Um, this took me, uh, the first time I stamped it, I stamped it a little bit too low. So you might want to practice on some paper. You could also do um, some masking if you wanted to on this, but I felt like if I just touched it right to the same line as the dog head, I could just get away with that. All right, so, oh, and before I go any further, and since I have my ink pad out, I've got a little piece of daffodil, Daffodil Delight, and this one measures two and a quarter inches by seven eighths of an inch. And I love the punny greetings. Hot dog, it's your birthday. There's some other really cute greetings in this stamp set too. So I'm just gonna center this on here. All right. So that is all the stamping we need to do. This um, little stamp set has a lot of little accessories in it. So that's kind of cool that you can choose different things to go um, uh, with your dogs and dress them up a little bit. Um, just really adorable. Look at these punny greetings. I love you. That's the long and short of it. Bonjour. Um, I miss you. It's been too long. Just really cute uh, greetings and little accessories that you can put with this set. All right, so now we're gonna color this. And for the balloon, I'll take my, this is my real red light. And what I'll do is I just kind of start going around the edge of the balloon. And I'm gonna have my light spot right close to the top. So let's maybe do a little circle up here. Okay, so I know kind of where to, um, not to color. It's really hard to leave a blank white spot on your card. 
on your when you're coloring it's really hard not to want to color that in so you're going to have to really restrain yourself from not coloring that in but it does you know that's the way balloons um, go like they they do have like a really light spot usually where they refract light so you know just kind of if you create yourself a little circle then you can um you know what i noticed i didn't do this down here i'll add that on there too um if you create yourself a little circle and then just work away around it it works quite well let's do the collar too that's the other red piece there keep it really simple with the coloring and then you can stamp more of these and then i'm using my bermuda bay light and i'll just do the hat and I decided to bring it in with Bermuda Bay because if I had done this in red, it would have looked too much like Christmas. And then this is my Daffodil Delight light. And I'll just do the top of the hat and the little piece on the collar. And you could color the dog in if you wanted to, but this is kind of like a really nice, simple way to, to do the dog without doing any extra coloring or anything. Okay, let's bring in the other pieces of the card. This is actually the snail, I think it's called the snail mail designer paper. Let me, let me go to my supply list here. It's the snail mail designer paper. And I, it kind of has a little bit of a Valentine's theme to it, but it's actually good for, um, it's got lots of snails on it um, and mushrooms and stuff, but the back of the paper has a lot of great neutral patterns. Look at this one. It's got little dotted swirly lines. I think that works well for this thing. So the card base, I'm doing a tent fold. So this is 11 by four and a quarter and scored or folded in half at the five and a half inch mark. I prefer the scoring because it gives you a nice crisp fold. And then um, I just use a bone folder to smooth down that fold. And then this piece measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of Tombow. And I'll center this on the front of the card. I'm standing up actually while I'm doing this because it's easier to get that bird's eye view. All right, and then this piece is two inches by four and three quarter inches. And this is the Banner Triple Punch. And this punch um, is retiring actually really soon. Um, it's while supplies last, um, but the latest you can get it is um, till the end of April. And um, this one right now is actually on sale and it's still available. Um, I love it for creating those banner ends and it's got positions for one inch, one and a half, and for two inches. So for this piece, um, for two inches, and make sure if you have an up down pattern, you're uh, punching on the correct end. So I'm just gonna slide this in and give it a little punch. And that creates that cute little banner end quickly and easily. So this little guy, he's, he's retiring very soon. All right. So then we're just gonna add this onto our card front. And I'm going to line it up with my paper, not with the edge of the card. And this is about, I would say, maybe five eighths of an inch in from the side of the card here. And then we'll take this one And this one's going to be probably about half an inch from the top and I'm centering it on the banner. Bring it down just a little bit. Okay. And then this one, 
Remember I stamped this up just a little bit. So I'm going to let the dog be just on top of that. And then that way this kind of layers and kind of creates a nice little effect. And then earlier I tied a bow with the a snail mail um, twine. This is just white baker's twine, but the only way we have it right now is in the snail mail pack. And you can attach twine with Tombow. Just put like a tiny, tiny little glob of glue. And then I'm just gonna stick this down on the glue and I'll hold it for a few seconds so that it gets a chance to adhere to the fibers. You could also use a mini glue dot, but I just really like, for the twine, I like to use glue because it's just, sometimes mini glue dots can be a little large. Um, you can kind of roll the glue dot up into kind of more of a ball, but this kind of creates like a flatter sort of um, surface. And I think it holds pretty well. Um, Tombow in general is, is awesome for gluing things. And that is my card. That wasn't hard at all, right? like pretty easy with the coloring today. And it just comes together and it's nice and bright. And um, I know it could be kind of seen as a kid's card, but I actually, you know me, I, I love <laughs> I love cute edibles and I'm an adult, I think. Um, so the hot dog stamp set um, definitely is one that you'll want to pick up if you like dogs. And uh, um, it was so cute, right? so sweet um what do you guys think do you like it do you have the hot dog stamp set um what do you think of that stamp set do you like it uh, have you used it yet all right good morning ellie and christy and connie and karen and bev and janine hello 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 lisa um Ali says, the little details make the card special. Thank you. I, You know what? This is a fairly simple card, right? But you can just, you know, the, the whole, the little details on the back, like the designer series paper, you know, it just kind of came to, together really nicely. It's a nice um, flow, it has a nice flow. But that, that layout came directly from a card in the catalog. So that's kind of cool. Good morning, Amy and Cindy. And Janine thought the card was very cute. Thank you, everyone. I'm so glad you enjoyed the card. Um, if you need to get any of the supplies, I actually put the supply list down below if you're on Facebook today. Um, and also, you can um, click on over to my blog. It's the first link in the description of the video. Um, and then you can um, click over to my blog. And um, I have um, all the, um, the, I have a supply list. I have some more photos. I have a link to our, our group, our Casing Tuesday group. Um, and uh, one of our um, moderators, um, Lori, she reminded me that we're coming up really soon in a few weeks. We're coming up on number 300. We've done 300 cards uh, for Casing Tuesday. And um, so uh, it's we're going to have kind of a 300 celebration coming up. So that's kind of cool that we're coming up on that. We're number 297, so we're just three weeks away from um, number 300. I can't, can't believe that we've been doing it this long. But it's just a testament to that this is a really neat kind of system for creating cards and um, for making it easier. And it also challenges me. Today's card was totally in my comfort zone, but some of them aren't. So it really helps me a lot when I do cards that aren't in my regular comfort zone. And I wanted to remind you, if you weren't on at the beginning of this video, um, catch me on Thursday this week, April 1st on YouTube. Um, I am skipping Friday this week because uh, it's Good Friday. Um, I thought I would move up my um, a kind of fun Friday video to Thursday. Um, it will be at the same time, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time 
over on my YouTube channel. So I hope you'll catch me on Thursday instead of Friday. Um, I'm going to be trying to do a little thing to match my little card, a little 3D. I'm, I'm working on a design right now. Um, it's not quite complete. So I, I hope it works out like it was working out in my head last night, but I didn't get a chance to totally finish the design process. So I hope you will join me on Thursday. All right, guys, have a great week until then. Um, I hope your um, uh, Easter preparations are going well. And uh, I will see you on Thursday. Bye-bye.